Are you guys looking to pick up archery sponsorships as a beginning level archer? If you do, then I have some some do's and some don'ts and some tips that might help you guys out along the journey to speed up that process just by a little bit. My name is Garrison Huff and I do archery videos now. It's been a while since I have posted, but I pretty much went a whole year without posting to be honest with you just learning some things in archery and everything kind of taking a break from youtube but this year in 2022 i was going to try to come back and try to help you guys especially for somebody who is just getting started in archery or just to show you guys some tips and tricks and today's video is talking about how to get archery sponsorships and companies to put you on their pro staff as a beginning level archer the first tip that I have for you guys is number one, go to as many local and ASA or also indoor shoots as you possibly can. Now I will understand that not everybody is able to go to all six of the ASAs and the two and the Vegas and the Lancaster shoot, you know, I understand that not everybody is able to do that. And trust me, don't feel bad, you know, I'm, I don't plan on even attempt to go to Vegas until I can move out of the bulk novice class and set my stuff up with an open setup. I do, this year coming, I do plan on attempting to go to four ASAs, which is number one, Foley, Alabama, number two, the London ASA, so that's a big gap difference between Foley, Alabama, which is in the February 24th to 25th, all the way up to like June 2nd through the 5th, which is London ASA. And then I want to go to the Metropolis, Illinois one, and then I want to go back to the Coleman one. So that should be about, that'll be about four of the six. Now, um, I highly recommend to attempting to go to three per year if you're able to. If, um, you know, if you can't, then definitely try to go to two. Um, my first year of shooting com competitive ASA, um, 3D shoots, I was only able to go to one shoot, which was the London ASA, and like I said, that year was very slow, especially for anything like sponsors. Tip number two, I highly recommend you guys having like an Instagram page. Um, I, I prefer Instagram because I feel like I can reach out to companies more through Instagram than through, um, you know, like Twitter or something like that. Instagram and Facebook is going to be your number one and number two options to promote yourself and promote your shooting that way these companies can see it. But like I was saying about tip number two is just make these posts, post your, like, there's post yourself shooting and everything, you know, um, show these companies that you are putting in work and that is, that is something big you have to put in work, which actually ties in with tip number three. Practice, practice, practice. You don't, you don't have to shoot for eight hours every day for a whole year. You don't have to do that. But it is 100% recommended to get better to shoot daily. Now, I myself is someone who cannot consistently shoot daily. I've missed about three days out of the year so far. Um, I'm going to try to keep it as low as possible. I was out today and the day before shooting my bow in the snow because I'm trying to get this V3X um, sighted in and that is probably going to be a video that I'm going to do for you guys as a review on the V3X, my opinion. But just try your best to shoot as consistent as you possibly can. If you have to miss a day, it's understandable, but don't let that hold you back. Get out the next day and shoot just shoot man shoot practice hitting the 12 rings on the asa targets um practice making sure you know making sure your release is good because like 50 percent of your shots is all in your release hand and so many people um like the pros just sit down and work on their release because of how much pressure you've got just in your release hand tip number four i'm going to end the tips off with uh, just buy ASA targets. Now, hear me out. Um, I am 16. I'm about to be 17 in April. I work a summer job. It is a 7 to 3.30 job. It's an 8-hour job, 40 hours a week. I make money. I can buy my ASA targets. Now, it is 100% understandable if you're just now getting into this and you want to ask for your first target for, 
for your birthday or uh, Christmas or something like that. Um, you know, ask for people to go in on it and buy one target and that will get you started. Obviously, you're going to need more, but having one will get you started. But I highly recommend getting a job and buying ASA, tar ASA targets if you are 100% dedicated to trying to win and trying to move up. Now, for your don'ts, I do not recommend going to just one tournament a year. I did that my first year, um, and that is just... Don't number one, I do not recommend just going to one ASA shoot now. Not everybody is going to be able to go to these shoots, you know. Not everybody is going to be able to go to three or four. If you can go to more than one, that will be... That'd be awesome. That is, you know, try your best at it. Like, keep going to these. If you're old enough to drive, um, then work, put money aside each paycheck for however long you need to, and have that money saved up for your gas, your, just everything. Extra money to spend on food and maybe something you want to spend down there you know, for better equipment. And have it all set aside. But I highly, highly recommend making time and going to more than one archery shoot, an ASA, or um, definitely go to these local shoots. Get yourself a little known with uh, your community if you have a community that does shoot archery. If you don't have any local shoots around you, then try to go to the nearest one. And if it's a couple hours away, I would not doubt one bit that they won't be worth going to. Now, don't number two is actually something very important, is do not get yourself discouraged if you do not pick up any pro staff or sponsors your first year, because trust me, my first year, I was kind of devastated that nobody was really wanting to pick me up, but I had to think, I've only been at it for one year in the 3D um, tournaments and ASA. My second year, I did pick up a couple sponsors, um, two sponsors and I'm on a pro staff for one other company and then we have a local bow shop that is getting built here in Kentucky and what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be shooting for them as well and I think I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys who we're shooting for well who I'm going to be shooting for um, later in this video because all these because what I'm telling you guys is just stuff that I would I would want to know as going into going into being a beginner archery shooter in ASA 3D tournaments. One more tip I got for you guys is fill out applications to be a part of a pro staff and be sponsored. Fill out applications as much as you can. Like Normally, applications opens up around fall after the ASA season. So if you're looking to pick up sponsors this year, you may be out of luck. You may be able to catch some people that is has their their con their um, their application still open, but most places is closed. Now go um, send in applications for 60x. Go send in applications for uh, Shrewd, um, all these places, True All, go send in these applications, and trust me, you will eventually get picked up by one of them. And even if you're rocking with just one for an entire year, be proud of that entire, just just be proud of that one. Because, you know, they're, they're given a chance, especially if you are sponsored and you are on a one-year contract. I am on a one-year contract with one of my companies, and um, well, actually, two of my companies, but I had the choice uh, for one of my companies. This will be the second year I'm with, and it'll be one year, the first year for one of the companies. Now, I do have an option at the end of the year if I want to cut them off and go to somebody different or just not be sponsored by them or what. I have that option if I wanted to, but I would highly recommend taking what you can get your first year. Now, obviously, you want to put in applications first for the more bigger and high-end companies, and then, you know, some of the smaller companies, you know, is definitely, there's no doubt in my mind that they definitely don't make good products as well, and you can put in applications for them also. 
so that is about it that I have for the tips and tricks. Um, obviously, just keep posting on an Instagram page uh, for your archery. Keep posting on Facebook and go shoot tournaments. I cannot get this, and people, I cannot get this more important than what it already is. Is go shoot tournaments, man. Go shoot tournaments, especially ASA ones. If you're in the ASA, if you're in 3D. Or if you're in indoor shooting and you only like indoor shooting and you don't really do the 3D, then go find local indoor shoots. No. And something else is, like I said, it's just practice, man. Practice as much as you can. So it has came to the end of the video. If you need to go back and see any of the tips and tricks that I have list that I have said, um, I'm gonna try to have them all listed down in the description below under do's and don'ts and uh, just some little side tips and everything. But I'm going to show you guys who that we are going to be rocking with for the 2022 season. Starting off, we are coming in with the the, the pro staff for 60x custom custom strings. Um, now, like I said, this is a last year's jersey when I got this. This is just one of the three that we're talking about. 60x custom strings, such a great company great products they reply to you fast um they don't really they don't re keep you waiting man they they make sure that you're taken care of the second company that we have a one-year contract with is vein tech and vein tech i love vein tech i have shot vein techs for going on three years now um obviously if you don't know what vein tech is their veins i highly highly recommend checking them out they're great products they're good quality they're not as expensive as most most of these things are and number three who we are on a um, shooter staff for is Trueball and Excel now I've got their little card in my wallet and everything if I needed to ever show you guys proof if you didn't believe me for the other people that we are shooting for this coming year is going to be a local bow shop um, is called Harlan County Long Range Archery and if you guys have never heard them go check them out on Facebook awesome people um wes is such a great dude and i'm so blessed and honored that i have this opportunity to be able to shoot for this bow shop that's coming up in harlem and this is another reason why i just want to work and get better it's just so i don't disappoint any of the, the people who is taking a chance on picking me up and um, i give all the glory to god for being able to let me do what I do, um, ASA, and picking up these uh, sponsors and contracts and stuff like that. But it is only the beginning. So I will see you guys in the next video.